Good morning, everybody. It's so good to have you joining us. If you are joining for the gift guide, I'm going to leave it timestamped below so you can hop right to that portion of the video. If you're here just for all of the things we're gonna talk about, who knows, cooking, organizing, decorating, like on this channel, we literally talk about all of the things. So there will be something here that you connect with, but if you're looking for gift ideas, timestamp is below. We're gonna do it vlog style, and I cannot wait to share some of my favorite things with you, which seems quite fitting considering Oprah just shared some of her favorite things. But go ahead, hop down there, but I hope you'll just join us. And if you like the video and if you like hanging out with me, go ahead and subscribe, join the family, and for the rest of you, let's jump into just a regular couple day vlog. Who knows how many days it will be. Anyway, friends, it is Tuesday, it is 7 a.m., and I timed it perfectly to be driving into the rising sun. Um, I feel like a cowboy in some Western movie. I am actually on my way to get Stephen and I some coffee. We're both working from home today, well, this week and next, and we both have really busy days today. I actually started working. I think I sent my first email at 5 a.m., so I've already been working for a solid hour and a half, and I don't have another meeting until 8, which gives me plenty of time to go and get us some coffee, so that's what I'm doing right now. And Steven is getting ready to make dinner. He's making tacos tonight for us. I really love how this turned out with just like the simple ornaments. I just think it's really cute. Was talking to one of you on Instagram last night and you told me an idea and shared. A, I've seen it with a couple people now. I can't think about all the people I've seen do it, but to paint an arch around my desk and I'm going to attempt it. So I have it already free drawn, but I wanna show you how I did it. I measured 64 inches up on each side, then in the center of that, I attached a pencil on a string. I brought it over and lined it up to meet this corner and then just had Steven hold it really tight and I traced the arch. It's hard because it's on there with pencil, but you can vaguely see it. I am gonna have to hand paint that, and that terrifies me. I'm not the best painter, but I'm gonna give it a try and see how it works out. And if it doesn't, guess what? I'll paint the wall. But if it does work out, I think it's gonna look really cool. All right, the lighting in here isn't perfect, and I by no means got a perfect arch but I'm really happy with it. I essentially did it all freehand, friends, and it's still actually a little wet, but I just put stuff back anyway because I need to get my office back in order. But look how cool that is. I mean, when you walk in, I think it's cool, and I'm impressed that I did it all freehand. I mean, I'm not mad at it at all. Oh, do I need a tree there? I don't think I do, not this year but it would look really pretty in just all gold, like a nice pencil tree. Should I do a tree? That's the question. I actually really love this. I love my office so much. Like, I just, I just, I love it. This is the tree skirt. I struggled with finding the perfect one. This one is from McGee & Co. Um, it's beautiful, like look how pretty the little toggle buttons are on the back of it. I mean, I would adjust it so it's completely closed. The reason I ended up going with this one, this rug is McGee & Co, and I thought in that corner, it's going to overlap no matter what. So I wanted it to be able to blend in. Here is my tip around tree skirts. They can look really lumpy and dumpy because, let's get down on the ground, there's all this kind of space. Oh, my floor is so dirty from doing this tree. There's all this space that it falls down into. So, the way you fix that is I'm going to take a bed sheet in the most neutral color that I have, which is this gray, and I'm actually going to start filling in and softening those dips and valleys and edges 
with this sheet. So when I lay the tree skirt on it, it looks a little bit more full. All right, my tree skirt is on. It looks really good. But like giving a little bit more fullness really helps. By the time I get the gifts in there, this is where I'm gonna put Stevens. Um, it works. Also, it does help that this tree goes so low to the ground. But now that that's there, I can move some of these gifts in there. All right, friends, it is much later in the evening. I'm speaking quietly because Steven is in his office working. Um, once a week, he does pro bono work. So that's what he's doing right now because he's a great human being. So he'll do that pretty late this evening um, because I believe the people are in a different time zone. So um, it's not super convenient, but he really enjoys doing it. So. I am just having a glass of wine, it's a Pinot, no, this is a red blend, it's fine. It was nothing special, I think it was on sale at the wine store. I was thinking that I would be able to film this evening the gift guide, but like that's not gonna happen. But tomorrow I have off, so I will do that. The rest of the day is going to be pretty low key. I'm probably going to just sit here and read because I don't really wanna be playing the TV because I just don't wanna disturb him. And then I also want to go take a bath because I still have paint all over me. But we will see each other in the morning. We will do a gift guide um, because I have tomorrow off, like I said. So that is something to look forward to. All right, see you later. Good, good morning, friends. I am in my office right now, and I was looking at that archway that I painted yesterday. And this side is a little off, but I think I was able to freehand draw, and I think I might have fixed it. I'm gonna give it a whirl to see what ends up happening and see if it looks a little bit more balanced. So I freehanded that side over there. It's still not perfect, but it looks way better and a lot more balanced. I'm really happy with it. And to think, I tried to tape it and it was just too hard to tape. I did that all freehand. I'm really proud of myself. The truth is I'm gonna regret doing this gift guide in a vlog because there's gonna be so much to link. But I think there is no better way to see gifts than like how they're actually in my house and how I use them. And things are gonna be so random, but they're things that I really, really love that I will be gifting and actually there's a bunch on here that I've already bought. Here's the thing. I would love to share the gift ideas I have for Steven and what I bought him, but then he will watch it and all of his surprises will be ruined, but I got him such good things and I wish I could share them with you. All right, we're gonna actually start in the laundry room. I know that's weird, but trust me. This is totally random, but we are in my laundry room and this is the time of year where everyone loves Fraser fur. We always get people candles. This is something I'm gifting to people in my life who really love Fraser fur. I buy the Times Fraser fur candle every year, but this year they have a linen spray as well as laundry detergent and I've been washing all my throws in this. It is such a cool gift. They smell so good. They also have a car air freshener that I love. I will tell you, I've gotten better prices on Amazon and faster shipping than buying from the Times website, so I'll leave those links. As far as kitchen gifts, <laughs> I mean, you are all gonna laugh because this is just, I think, what everyone always needs, and that is my chef and chopper. <laughs> oh my gosh, I wish I was like sponsored by them in some way. But I have had this for now, I can't even count, 10, 11, 12, 15 years. I've only ever had one. Um, they do make it in different colors now. I think they make it in red as well and maybe black. Um, but this is my favorite kitchen tool. We use it nonstop. I think it is a great gift for anyone. They might think you're nuts, but I'll tell you, once they have it, they will love it and it's lasted forever. I've never even sharpened the blades, ever, but it's my favorite. If you have a tea lover, this has shown up on many of my videos as well. My Smeg kettle is still one of my favorites. We use it at least twice a day, and it has stood the test of time, and it comes in color, so you can make it really unique to the people that you love. The next thing I would recommend is 
this Sage diffu oil diffuser. It is the best one I have found. Plus it's still very sleek. And then as far as oils, they're from Nature's Oils. Christmas Splendor and Fraser Fur have been the two that I've been going to. Love them so much. But the Sage diffusers are really, really great. For a music lover, there is no better in-house, well, I'm sure there are better, but in my opinion, the sound from a Sonos is unmatched. I absolutely love them. I want to get more for the house because I love it so much. This thing fills the whole house with music. I've never once even been able to get it close to full blast, but when you set it up, you will actually walk around the room that you have it in and it will match and calibrate all the acoustics for you, but the Sonos speakers cannot be beat. They honestly can't. I love them. I mean, this is a favorite, and I've had this now for about two years, and I can tell you that it's truly the best. I think if Steven was to tell you a favorite, it would be Alexa, all the things. Oh, and I just said her name, so she's gonna turn on. So we do all of our things in our smart home on this. We add things to shopping list. This is the show. This is an older version. I have another version at my office at work. I actually brought it home from work. I um, put my office here just so it was with me, but Alexa shows are truly the best things ever and they have different versions so we have like the long pillar one that originally came out the dots we love these things we even have the ones for our car which I can turn the lights on when I'm driving home I love it I will leave that linked below too because the car one's actually a really good gift and it has a really good price point as far as advent calendars they're a little late but you could still get a few I got the white company I have Sugarfina, I have a Mary Mary um, Santa's Workshop like figurine set, and then Beekman 1802 did release their first advent calendar ever, but in all honesty, if I was to recommend one gift that I think is a really great one, it would be this gratitude jar. It comes with all the little cards. It is so well made, it's so beautiful, and during Vlogmas, we're gonna be filling this up with gratitude. And I think it's a really nice gift to give anyone. I think another great gift, especially for people in new homes or apartments, is to invest and buy them some really high quality flameless candles. I was never a flameless candle fan until I started buying the premium wax Pottery Barn ones, and you're gonna see now, I have a ton of them. I have them over here. I have them in my lanterns, I have them on my mantle, I have them in my lanterns in my living room. I am in love with them. I love them so much that just in case I buy something else, I have boxes of them sitting back here. I think I have six in my buffet just because I really do love them. Another really cool gift but is only out of London, and if it's if you have someone in your life who loves Palo Santo, you should go to St. Paolo and check out their Palo Santo burners. You drop the wood down, you add a tea light, and you burn it. You can also buy, pardon the state of this drawer, but I bought an extra box of Palo Santo. It's all the wood in there. It doesn't smell too strong, which I actually like. Um, some candles do get way too strong for Steven or myself. So this is like a really mild scent and we love the smell of Palo Santo. So love this. It's a really cool gift. No one would ever think to get someone this. All right, when I first purchased this, I thought it was silly. Steven thought it was silly, but I actually love it so much and it's lasted now over a year and that is my skincare fridge that I got mine on Amazon. I highly recommend this one, but I keep some masks in there, eye rollers, everything stays nice and cold. I keep eye creams in there. Not everything you wanna keep in a skincare fridge, but a lot of my serums and eye creams. I really, really like it. I thought it was weird, but now I love it. I love a practical gift, and one that I have fallen in love with is my water pick. I thought it was gonna be a silly purchase, but let me tell you, my friends, I sometimes have really bad luck with flossing with thread. This works so much better. My teeth feel so clean. I love my water pick. I absolutely love it. Once again, this isn't the fanciest of ones, but it works so well. Speaking of practical, there is nothing I love more than ironing and steaming. 
I iron my work clothes every single day. So about two years ago, Steven bought me the Rowenta Perfect Steam Station. So it is a whole shenanigans, um, and I love it. It's portable. Um, so I can take it and use it to steam things. It will do vertically. Um, it is connected to this steam cord. But can I tell you, if you've never ironed with a Rowenta, there is no better iron. And these steam stations are unbelievable. I actually was just sharing this with Jen Ross. This is another favorite. I actually need to clean it. It's a little dirty. But this is my bath tray that I bought on Amazon. It's the only one that has really lasted and withstood water for over a year and a half now. I think this is an awesome gift because it's something people won't buy themselves, but once they have one, they'll be like, how did I live without it? It's such a cool gift. And you could pair this with some of your favorite like bath bombs, books, like make it like a really cool gift for them, but I love it. Life Around Two Angels um, is a set of bath bombs that Stephen bought me for Christmas a couple years ago, and I have kept them in stock ever since. They're completely organic. I love them so much. I think I'm down to like my last one. Um, so I will be ordering them again this evening. They're available on Amazon. I've heard a couple people talk about them, but Stephen literally bought these as like a Christmas gift years ago, and I have never now gone without them. An amazing, amazing gift this year for anyone is the Sunday Citizen Throws. You have seen these all over my house. I have one being delivered <laughs> right now. I have this one. I have two in my living room. I have all of my bedding converted to Sunday Citizen from my pillowcases to my duvet to my comforters. Um, I love Sunday Citizen. If you can just look at this, that it's so soft. I've also started washing them and they wash and dry really well. They don't shrink. You wash them in cold, dry them on medium low and they're perfect. And they hold that Times laundry detergent scent so well, but I love these things. It's probably one of my favorite home linens of the past five years. I'm that obsessed. That's why I have so many throws. I've converted every single throw in our house to Sunday Citizen. I ran back downstairs because I realized there was something I forgot. So I recently, and I believe the brand is Victoria. I, uh, I'll double check, but I found this record player. It also has a CD player. It is the best sounding small record player we've ever found. Steven even commented on it. That's how good it is to buy this with some people's favorite artists on vinyl. There's nothing better than a record. It's really also just beautiful to look at. This is one of my favorite purchases of the last two months. It's so good. I don't want to bombard you with too many things, but those are honestly things that I would give as gifts. Actually, a couple are being given as gifts this year um, and just are favorite things of mine around my house. I am going to do a book list. I think giving a book is one of the best gifts to give. And like I said, everything is linked down below for you to follow and find easily. I will regret this later when I'm editing this video, but I'm also really excited to th share things that I love that I know other people will love. Also, if you have someone that you really, really love who also really, really loves coffee, this is a splurge, but I gotta tell you, I've had this since March and it is my favorite thing as well. And it is the DeLonghi Aletta Cappuccino machine. It is amazing. It also comes with the milk frother so like you can literally make cappuccinos cafe lattes latte macchiatos um just milk you can make longs you can make doubles you can make singles you can do standard coffee there's a bean hopper in the back a mug warmer on top um there is a manual steamer and hot water there is a milk craft for steam drinks as well you just substitute those out I mean, it does everything, but it is expensive, um, but it's just a, such a good machine. Steven, on the other hand, prefers his Nespresso Virtual line. He loves it. If you're wondering, that is the one that takes not the standard capsules, but the larger ones. He loves this thing, he uses it multiple times a day. And then Nespresso even did an advent calendar, so Steven got a 25-day advent calendar of virtual line capsules to 
enjoy. I just got out of the bathtub and I was thinking another thing that I recommend as a gift are bathrobes. This is a new one, so I'm not gonna recommend this one just yet because it's not been washed and I'm wearing it for the first time, but I have such luck with Pottery Barn bathrobes. I'm gonna leave my favorites linked down below. Um, they're amazing, amazing gifts, so check them. Good morning, everybody. It is around 5 a.m. Last night, I wore to bed one of my Vlogmas merchandise that you could pick up. It's all linked down below. It says, let it snow kindness and love. It's one of my favorites. I think I want to get it in a sweatshirt too. Yes, I have to buy my own merch. I don't run anything at the store um, except the designs. But I really, really like this one. Oh, so if you're interested, you can go check them out. I have a bunch of them. Um, yeah, I'm just getting ready to start the day. I'm going to do my devotions and then get some, well, get some coffee first. But today's going to be super busy. I'm like swamped, literally swamped with meetings. Um, so I don't know what I'll vlog, but we shall see. Um... I probably won't pick up the camera again until lunch and then after lunch I probably won't pick it up till like 4 or 4.30 because I legit have like just little spurts of like 20 minutes in between meetings. So it's going to be a long day. It is around noon on Thursday and I planned on vlogging a little bit more today. However, I'm going to end it here. I'm actually not feeling too great and I have a little bit of a fever. Um, so... I'm gonna end it here. Luckily, I'll be able to get this to today because I had already edited everything up until today. So I'm just gonna throw this closing on here. I'll be fine. I think my body is just catching up with me. Um, but I will end it like I end all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, my friends. Bye-bye.